Hey guys, it's Letting You Flash. It's been a while. Um, I just got back from church camp and thought I would give you another update on the chickens. They're no longer really chicks anymore. And they don't got long till they're going to be butchered. So I'm going to tell you kind of how long I think till we're going to butcher them. And well, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for that. Let's head on down and I'll show you what they look like, how big they've gotten and how they're doing and try to tell you when I think I'm going to butcher them. All right, so here they are in their kind of makeshift run thing. It's just one of those like corral cage things in front of their coop. There's all kinds of junk on top of the um, cage because it's plastic. And I was just trying to hold it down with a bunch of other stuff. And yeah, so as you can see, the these are pretty big looking chickens. Um, they've gotten very, very dirty. Not exactly sure how. Well, yeah, I'm sure how. That in there was very nasty when I came back from camp and underneath their screen and it was filled up and obviously my grandma can't move the thing. So I got back and I cleaned it out and then I put shavings in there and they are Cornish cross chickens. They get very nasty. This one right there, the sick one, it's still having problems and it's still not growing. Like you see how bit tiny it is. That is gross. You see how tiny it is <laughs> compared to the other ones. These are big birds and that's just a little tiny bird. That big rooster right there is probably approaching 10 pounds. And you see this little one right here. I might, I probably should put it down because I don't think it's going to recover. It's just hasn't grown. And it can't walk very well, so and I don't want it to suffer. I don't know though. It could recover once, but I'm not sure. But these ones, as you can see, are getting really big. So, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure what's wrong with that one, but uh, we'll figure it out. But as for these ones, these ones are getting, these ones are really big. Um, ready to butcher pretty much. Give it, I'll give it another week and a half maybe before I butcher them. I just hate how dirty they've gotten. I'll probably give it another week and a half before I butcher them. I have probably three quarters of a bag. Little, I have over half a bag. And... I want them to finish more of that. I don't want them to finish the whole bag because I'm going to need it because I think I those I have chicks I'm trying to hatch and I think they might actually hatch. So, And it's start to finish feed. So I don't want to use all of it because it's expensive. But they're doing pretty good. There's two roosters. That one right there and then this huge one over here. Um, hasn't really started crowing yet. He tries, I've been told. But he hasn't crowed, started crowing like actually yet. Um... See, that's a big bird right there. They're, 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 I think they're ready. I'm gonna give them another week. I gotta figure out how to get freezer bags and stuff for them. I gotta get freezer bags. I gotta get a sharp knife. Um, I don't think I'll get a killing comb this year. I'll probably just hang them upside down by a rope. Hopefully their legs can support their weight as they're being butchered, but I'm not sure. Um, they drink a lot of water. So you can see this guy's the he's the biggest he's i would say 10 pounds right now he's probably about 10 pounds when he's butchered to probably like seven i wish these other ones could get to that point but i'm not sure i don't want to keep them too much longer so i think it's about time they get butchered but this coop has held in really good it's it's meant to have them this coop in particular all this stuff's just on top of it just to hold the screen out but this coop in particular is for is going to be for smaller chicks it's not going to be for big ones like this to, to stay in. This was just like a coop for when they were small, but obviously I've had to use it because I didn't have time to build another thing. But this will be used for, for chicks when you know when it's time to transfer them to, from the brooder to something else. Then that this will be the in between stage thing, in between stage coop. If yeah, the in between stage. That's what that that will be. I'll build probably a coupon post with screen wire floor for um big chicks like these but as you can see they're getting really big and pretty much ready look at how big that buddy is right there i've loved working with this breed they're a very nice breed i don't get pecked they're just kind of dirty but they're chickens so yeah oh so when will we be butchering them probably about a week and a half 
basically when I find freezer bags because I kind of want the bags that shrink around them when you stick them in the water and you use a straw and or I could just try to vacuum seal them but that'd be expensive we'll figure it out I'm gonna go get a scoop of food and show you guys what they do when I throw it in there all right let's walk on over here show you guys this I have a theory about these birds. They'll just eat and eat and eat and they don't even like need it, but they'll just continue to eat and eat and eat. But that's the kind of breed they are. The more they eat, the more they grow. But obviously I don't wanna waste all my feed. But they do not starve. They get fed quite a lot. But grandma says she's filling that thing up and they're eating it in a day. But I was thinking they were kind of gorging themselves to the point where they don't need exactly that much feed. But they're doing really good. Um, they went from being sick. Sorry about that notification. They went from being sick to healthy. Tr chick Drench got them through, and also I switched to medicated feed real fast when they were sick when they were little, and it all worked out fine. But they're pretty much ready to be butchered. As you can see, that guy's so big compared to this little one. The little one just has not really done that well i mean i'll keep it when it's little i guess i don't know i haven't decided if i'm gonna put it down yet but i'm not gonna eat it obviously it's too small and it just doesn't look healthy but it's still alive it's still eating it still drinks it just has trouble walking i don't know maybe keep it maybe it'll lay eggs or something i don't know if it can get any bigger than that you can see you got some big a lot of meat on this chicken a lot of meat on that chicken here's gonna be some juicy birds all right thank you guys for watching yeah i've been away for a while i haven't made too many videos i was at church camp for a week had a great week at camp um i got baptized pretty good the water was cold though. very very cold uh overall great week at church camp i'll be back at my camp in a few weeks or about a month for a work day there but had a great time Now we can get back to regular scheduled videos. It's so hot here. I think it was way, it was way cooler at camp an hour the other direction. And I'm always, I'm in a schedule now where I'm getting up at seven. So got a schedule again. So now I can wake up at seven every morning without an alarm clock. So uh, get back to making videos, get back to getting things done and Hopefully get this channel monetized soon. Um, the chestnut video has blown up again, so maybe it'll help me get to the watch hours I need for monetization. And if any of you have subscribed lately, thank you guys for subscribing. I hope you'll watch more of my videos. You guys mean a lot to me. All right, as always, don't forget to drop a like on this video. Hit that notification bell if you have not already. Drop a like on the video. And as always, keep it electrified. I'll see y'all later. There should be a playlist somewhere to check out. I'll see y'all.